All right, welcome back to Lua for Beginners. So this time we're going to be going over functions and string concatenation, which is just a really long, fancy word. So we're right here where we left off. And we've actually used functions before. We've used the print and the type functions. And uh, if you've ever wondered why we're using these like parentheses things, we're going to be going over that today. So let's just clear this out. And let's make our first function. So a function is like a variable. It contains code instead of a number or some text. And it actually is a type of variable. So when I said those it, variables pretty much boil down to numbers and strings, that's why I said pretty much, because there's a couple of other types of variables. So to make our own function, we type the word function. Spell it correctly, there we go. And then we give it a name. So the names of functions work exactly the same way as the names of variables. They can't start with a number, they can't have spaces in them, they can't have special characters except for like an underscore. So let's just call this function print name. Okay. And then, just like before, we're going to put the open and close parentheses after it. Okay, but we're not going to put anything inside of those right now. What we're going to do is we're going to actually go down to the next line. So down a couple of lines and we're going to type the word end, E-N-D, just like that. So you should have function print name, open and close parentheses, a blank line, and then end. So anything between this parenthesis, the closing one, and end, will be run every single time that we do what's called calling the function. So let's use another function. Let's use print so we can see something on the screen. And we'll just print our name. So you can put your name in there. If your name happens to be Dylan, then put my name in there. And this code will be repeated every single time we call this function. So let's actually call this function. So to call the function, we just type the name of the function, which is print name, and caps do matter on this, just like in normal variables, capitalization matters. Print name, and then an open and close parentheses, just like that. So save your file and run it, and you should see a name pop up. Now, this kind of just seems like a longer way to print your name out, but the real usefulness comes when your functions become longer. So if we just come up with a bunch of text, like my name is Dylan. And then we do another one. We do print, I like to code. And we do another one, print something. Lua is my favorite language. You can see that if you just keep going with this, this will become tedious to repeat and repeat and repeat if you wanted to do this more than one time. And if you wanted to make a change one time or in one place, you'd have to make it multiple times every single time that you repeated that code. But if you don't want to repeat all that code, and it's better if you don't because it'll minimize the amount of mistakes that you made, you put it in a function. And you can call a function as many times as you want. So if we take print name down here, we copy that, and we just put it on the next line again, and we just put it on the next line again, it'll repeat it three times. And we don't have to write out like nine lines of code here. We only had to write out three lines of code and set up the function. And we can do that again. We can copy and paste that. Now we should have a whole bunch of lines coming out but we don't have a whole bunch of lines going in. And that's the point of a function. So something pretty useful is we can put two strings together. So if we wanted to make a variable called name and you wanted to store your name in it, you just put name equals, you start the open and close quotation marks. And by the way, you can use either single quotations, which is like this, or double quotations. Lua doesn't actually care. The only thing it cares about 
is that the one you start with should be the one that you end with. So if I have an opening single quote and a closing double quote like that, it's going to complain. I like double quotes, so if we put double quotes, Dylan is my name, and we can put my age just like that as a number, then what we can do is we can print out my name is Dylan and I am age old, right? So the way we'd put that together is we'd start off with a string. My name is, and you put a space here, and then we're going to use this variable and we're actually going to put it right there, okay? So we're going to do what's called concatenation. So string concatenation is a really fancy term. It just means putting two strings together. So the way we do it in Lua is with two periods, just one right after the other, just like that. And then you can, concat you can concatenate it with another string like this, Dylan, or you can put a variable there which is even more useful. So we're going to put name. Now we want to finish it off with, and I am age old. So we're going to put another two dots, just like that. Start it off with a space, because there's no spaces in this string, so we're going to have to surround it in spaces like that. And then we're going to continue typing, and I am, and then another space, two more dots, just like that. And then you're going to put age in there. And you'll notice that age, it isn't a string, but Lua will convert it into a string for us so that this will work. All right, and let's finish it off here. Two more dots. Start off with more quotation marks. Years old. That's in all caps. Just like that. And now we should see... Hello, my name is Dylan. I'm 19 years old. All right, that's about it for this tutorial. Next time, we're going to actually go over how to use the stuff inside of these parentheses in your own functions, things called arguments. And that makes your functions not only reusable code, but code that takes in stuff and can do different things based on what you give it. All right, I'll see you next time.